hi uh, everybody today we are going to see about uh, spss spss stands for statistical packages for the social sciences this is a software which will help you to analyze the data that we have captured using the questionnaire now you have already seen how a questionnaire can be developed and through the questionnaire a lot of questions get answered and in the questionnaire we ask four types of scales are used for example in this first question here this is the question on gender so and the second one is on age marital status family size the number of friends you have here income this turn the usage etc now all this information would have been actually captured through the questionnaire and now we would like to actually upload it and put it in the software and then do the analysis so if this is how the final data capturing after once it is data entering is done this is how it will look but how to get to the, this how do you enter the data now i have trying to go to a new one so this is how the spss data capture window will look you can see here nothing is entered here there are different menu options here like the file in the file if you go again you can see a lot of options here you have the edit option view data this is the main one transform and analyze so we will see one by one how to do each of the function so we will be going through different modules of uh, uh, this video sessions in this session i will be only introducing to you what is meant by a data view what is meant by a variable view so this is how the spss data editor looks like if you see below here there are two options one is called as a data view and another one is called as a variable view the first thing that i have to do is to first create my variables now how do i create the variables what variables do i create for instance if my first question is related to the gender of the respondents then the question would be gender male female two options would be given and i have to tick one of the options suppose the respondent has ticked female then that has to be captured but before that how to create a variable you go to this name double click here and give gender then you come here when you are creating names there is restriction on the length of the variable for example if i am going to give this as gender say 09 10 this one is taken but suppose give then it says there is an illegal character so there is restriction you cannot use characters uh, uh, in this so i just leave it as gender if i want to use a number i will put 0 underscore 1 underscore is taken but uh, hyphen will not be taken so these are the restrictions in the creating the uh, the variable so i just keep it as gender the next one is type what type of a variable am i going to keep this as am i going to keep this as numeric comma dot string so i can actually choose to keep gender as a string also i can enter it as male or female but i choose to keep this as numeric here i will tell you the reason later and then you look at the width is how much is the characters that we can store there whether decimal points will be there decimal points need not be here so i'm just going to leave this label is how are you going to name this this will be the one which will be displayed especially when you are using the amos software so i am going to call this as gender itself values this is the most important one here i have to define the values if i say value 1 is equal to the male respondents in my study i add it and then i say 2 is equal to the female respondents in my study and then say add and then i have to okay it now you have these two options taken here missing none characteristics how i want to align them and 
whether it is a scale, ordinal or nominal. You have already studied all these different types of scales. So you should be able to clearly tell me that gender is only a nominal scale. So I am going to take that option and I am going to, what is my method of input is going to, I am going to just input it. This is the first option. Suppose age is my second one. I can, I can call this as numeric. Decimals, if I want to keep it, I can keep it and this, I can take it away. This is the age of the respondents. So I, this can be lengthy also. Label can be very elaborate. Even a sentence can be typed here. And when I am looking at the values, how am I going to, what is the grouping that I have given? If one is for all those who are less than 20 years, I add it. My second group is all those who belong to 20 to 40 years. And my third group is all those who belong to greater than 40 years. This is how I am defining. So as I told earlier, this is a very, very important step here. So this is how we will create those variables. So just think of how many variables should be created for a study. If you have thought about the answer, you will realize that as many as the questions in your questionnaire, that many variables would have to be created. Once you have created the variables, you can go and click the data view. When you look at the data view, you will see that there is a gender and there is also age given here. Now, that means you have already created two variables here. And what are these numbers corresponding to? These are the, the places where you will be entering your variable. The entering the data, sorry. So this is the uh, for the first respondent, this is for the second respondent, the third respondent, fourth respondent, so on and so forth. Now let me take the first one. So here I will take the first questionnaire and try to fill the gender of the first respondent. Suppose the person is a female. You remember what is the coding that you have given? You had given two. Here again I can have the view of either value labels or so value labels will only show the values. If I choose to have the labels, female will be displayed the moment I type 2. Age, my grouping is the second grouping. So second grouping is 20 to 40 years. So either I can enable that or I can just put them as values alone. So this is how you will enter. Now I take the second respondent and try to fill what they have filled in the questionnaire. So just think and tell me how many rows will be created? As many as the respondents in your study. Suppose my uh, number of respondents and the sample size is 100, then I will have 100 rows created. And as far as the variables are concerned, they will be the number of questions that have been used in the questionnaire. I hope you would have learned how to create the variables and how to input the data in the SPSS data editor. So in the next uh, uh, video, we will see how to record a variable. So that is the transform option and how to use analyze to get the frequency tables.